I'm Imogen and this is the Beginner's Guide to Non-Alcoholic Spirits. So the emergence of non-alcoholic spirits in the past few years has really come to a head, especially in, the, in these times when we're stuck at home. We're still wanting to keep healthy and well, but still wanting to enjoy a drink or two. I've been using Bats Botanicals in a range of drinks at home, loving it, mainly because it is vegan, gluten-free, sugar-free and organic. It's perfect for a sip at home, as well as using in a range of drinks. They are not a non-alcoholic gin, as there is no juniper. We do have five botanicals in there. We've got lemon myrtle, lime, wattle seed, Tasmanian pepperberry, and cassia bark. You can use it in a range of different cocktails. The cassia bark goes super well with any kind of espresso martini sort of things. The wattle seed, kind of like acacia, also goes well, well with great amount of spices like nutmeg and cinnamon, as well as cassia bark, which is basically just your Asian version of cinnamon. So today we'll be making a south side, which is very similar to a gimlet. The only difference is you add a bit of mint. So to start this off, you will need 30 ml of lime juice. I prefer fresh lime juice, of course, so you just want to squeeze in straight into the shaker. Now, if you've never had a, la had a south side before, it is fresh, citrusy, limey, traditionally made with gin, but today we're obviously going with our lovely banks. So we've got our lime juice in there. Next, we want to go in with the banks. So this will need 45 mils, which with a jigger, you need one large side, which is 30, and one small side, which is 15. So we've got our botanicals and our lime juice in there, and we need to sweeten her up a bit. So we're just going to go in with a bit of sugar syrup. With this, we just want 15 mils to keep her nice and sweet, to let all the other flavors come through properly. Now, last but not least for the ingredients, we need our mint. So with this, just grab a few leaves of mint, rip her up, give her a smack, and then she goes. Awesome, now before we do anything else, we need to ice our glass. Now, there's a reason we're icing our glass and not the drink, and we'll get to that later. Awesome, so just put her to the side until you're finished and ready to pour. So with this, we are going to dry shake it. Now, dry shaking basically means dry shaking your cocktail without ice. Now, a hot tip is basically you want to dry shake cocktails with non-alcoholic spirits all the time. Any kind of dilution with non-alcoholics can really not let the flavor shine through properly. So, tin into the large one, give her a smack and shake her up. Now, if anyone doesn't know, the South Side is originally from Chicago. Prohibition Chicago, to be precise. It was Al Capone's favorite cocktail. It basically masks the flavor of his horrible flavored Prohibition gin. And these days, it's become one of the most loved classics. Awesome. So we've got our shaken cocktail, we've got our ice glass, we just want to chuck the ice away. Beautiful. Grab your strainers and pour her in. So that's our drink poured. Now what is a cocktail without a million one garnishes? So of course we need to make her look pretty. With this, I just grab one singular mint leaf and place her on the top there. And there we have our south side. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs>